I love tweezers from Lash Base, so I've got my my blue. These are Alex's purples, and these are my flower ones, and these are my really cool um, leopard print ones. I really like them. They are a fave, a fave. They are a favourite. Um, next thing I've got is a myriad of um, I don't even know if that's the right word, but I've got heaps of glues. This was my Ultra Bond Pro 5 when I first started. That's Ultra Bond Pro 5 with Nuvo. Um, does not dry very fast. A little bit, not so much. Um, great. And then I moved on to, I. Uh, there was like a lash coat one. I have hardly used it. Um, but I do like the Kiss number one. Dries reasonably fast. Stays on really well. No one has a reaction, which is really cool. This is the latest one I've just tried, and I was really not too sure about trying. It's called Blink Lash Stylist and Care. This one gives you warnings and cautions not to swallow, not to breathe in the vapor, not to get it directly on the skin. So you really have to be careful with that one. But it dries so fast. It is really amazing. Um, I had heard of glues people had worn before and they're like, if my lashes feel like concrete or they're like, I went and had a shower and it stung every time I had a shower or I cried and it stung, no good. This is another Kiss one, um, it's been sent in my fridge, it's clear. It's interesting to use, I haven't used, I've used it, had it done on me once and I've just felt like it didn't dry as clear as I'd like it to, but um, I would like to use it again with some colours and just see exactly how that works out. So they're pretty cool. Um, the next thing that I use um, for removal of protein is either protein pads or this is Lash Me's um, uh, brand of Lash Primer. So that gets used with microfiber brushes. I don't have any microfiber brushes on me, but I do have those. Um, and then I have Nuvo for my glue removal my or my removal of lashes. Um, I also keep... Um, Solution buds by Hill Cook for cleanup, a little bit of cleanup. Um, this I love, Nuvo Lashes Sealant. I use that in every single person, so I'm always using um, my mascara brushes. I've got those as well. I'll show you how they come. Um, I stopped using pads a while ago. These are the pads that I use. They're just um, lint-free eye patches. You can get them from China, really cheap anyway. These ones here are silk eye pads. They're a little bit like a sticker but they look like silk, and I'll bring a picture up of that so you can see that too. Um, and then I have my ear blower for afterwards, and then I also have my magnifying um, glasses. Cannot do lashes as good as I do without these. These are a must. Um, and then I have my silicone pad, which I put all my loose lashes in. And again, another must, don't use a sponge. I got given a sponge in my starting kit from Nuvo, and they just bounce all around the sponge as you try and pick up these little lashes. So, you know, um, I don't bother with a jade stone. I use rings, and the rings look like this. They look like that. Wear it on my finger. Wear my cup. I love the rings and cup. I've known lash techs that have never, never had them or used them before and love them after using them. I have my normal microfiber tape as well. That's pretty standard. Um, a couple of extra things that are fun are um, my Kiss Diamond Lash Swarovski Stone Lashes. So I have those and I've done those on some brides. I should put a picture up so you can see. And then I've got them in colour as well. So we've got a few in colour that's pretty. And then we have uh, glitter ones. I <laughs> have not used these. I got them thinking they'd be really fun and cool and I think I did a few on somebody and then was like, they're just, they just don't look quite right. I don't know if you can actually focus on them or what, but not so much. Um, if I was to retail sealant, I would retail either the DV Perfect Coating which is this one, sealant to people to put on their own, but my lashes last like they last, so that's fine. Or the Max 2, that sealant's good too. Um, and they're both on lash base. Um, if I was to retail a mascara, it would be the DV Glowing Mascara. Brilliant, does not ruin your lashes, it's water-based. Um, and then the other thing I have in my kit is um, 
the lash sizes we have that in, in our rooms anyway to show people when you know what the sizes are what they look like in case they want to choose and, and how we can help them out just go and grab um, a couple of other things that I have I think I'm down to the last things I do have a file as well notice the animal print that's to file off my um, and clean my tweezers as I work Okay, here's the microfiber brushes. Now I've had some cheaper versions of microfiber brushes before and they've been really bad. These ones here, I think they're blank as well, so it's the same range as these guys. Blink. So um, these are good, they don't fall off and come apart and deteriorate really, really badly, which is annoying. Um, these are the mascara brushes that I get from Lash Base as well um, and I give that after I've done sealant to my um, to my client because then they can take care of their own lashes. Here's two different oil free options Max 2 Nuvo Lashes um, Mascara Gold and then DV Glowing it's quite popular it's cheap enough that you can I can sell this for like $25 New Zealand dollars for, for this oil free mascara Lastly, to clean the lashes if somebody arrives with mascara, which I really find annoying, um, is Lash Me uh, Makeup, Oil Free Makeup Remover. I use that to remove. Then I use the primer um, with the microfiber um, brush to get rid of all protein on the skin. So in all, if I can show you, Everything, the way that I have it set up in my room is I have everything in a bowl like I have that I need all the time is pretty much a generic need. <laughs> so everything that I need is all in like one place apart from the glue which is in the fridge. The generic stuff is in one place. There's the microfiber tape, the silk pads under the eyes, the silicone um, pad and dish, the primer, the sealant, the blower, the remover and my cups and my ring and then everything else is up on a shelf like mascara brush makeup remover stuff like that and then I keep one thing out all the time because generic generally generally I use loose lashes so I have these two here sitting on a shelf they've got my C's and my D's because they're most popular and then everything else look cram packed crazy everything else that I use so this is it's the whole lash kit and this kit is just from plastic box so that came from plastic box it has this on the top so if I want if I'm going to go mobile I can put my cylinders on the top anyway my mascara brushes um, everything else and then I have all of my, I don't even know if you can see this, but I have all of my trays in here and then some um, loose ones as well from Nuvo, which I hardly ever use, but there you go. That's what's in my lash kit. A buttload of stuff. Um, yeah, that's everything. If you want to ask me any questions about the lash products that I use, um, go ahead. Um, there is one thing I I think looks really pretty and makes feathered lashes that I've been doing just purely by accident um, when I had to infill somebody else's lashes that weren't mine and I was like you really need to have some smaller ones in there because they were flopping and everything. Um, doing one curl like let's say um, C1511s and then another curl like B or D 10 15s or 20s um, makes it look really nice and feathered and some are up and some are down and you get that feathered look along so it's quite pretty um, and it looks nice and natural um, and I quite like that on some people. Um, for starters I've got my L lashes. I'm going to start with L's because I use them like 
a couple of times on people and I liked them when they were first all in but as soon as they started falling out I don't think they look so good so they don't really wear well when they're not full but I do have them in point 20s and I got 9 um, when I ordered them I got 9, 11 and 13 so they're the owl lashes so hopefully you can see if it focuses on that instead of me that you've got that in trays. I quite like the trays because, um, you know, you can grab them off. They're not strips, but they're strips of individual lashes. You can take them off and put it on your hand and then you can work. But once you've taken it off once, if you don't use them or it's not as sticky, that's L's. Alright, I've got um, B and this is a mixed tray of 0.15s and I've got 8, 10, 12 and 14. Now these ones from Kiss are the ones that I really love using but they don't come with the sizes on them you, but they come in rows of four so I grab the vivid and I write down on the side what they are so that I know what I'm doing. That's my B's. I'm not sure that I actually have B's in 20s. C's, C's, I have so many C's because I love C's, um, and D's, C, C, heaps of C's, okay, a crazy amount of C's, so let's start with my C mixes, I've got, um, a C20 mix, 9, 11, 13 and 15, and as you can see I've done the same again, I have popped can open it. I've popped the numbers on the side so I know what size. Then we've got the odds, the 18, 12, 14 in C's and they're in 0.20s as well so they're a mix. Then I have C, 20, 11's because they are seriously popular. C, 11's, I use heaps of those. C, 15, 11's, again seriously popular for your littler lashes. Littler is in not as thick. Um, the next thing I have in C, which I really, I really like, um, because they look gorgeous, but they're just not as obvious when people wear them, is your colour lashes. So I've actually got, um, colour lashes, and they are really, really cool, and I have tried them with clear glue before, and I'll show you the clear glue that I have. Um, moving on now to D, I don't have very many Ds in in the strips or the trays, I should really say trays, but I have a D20 mix of 9, 11, 13 and 15 um, and I have a model who let me do 15s on her just recently um, and I have a picture so I'll put that up now for you to have a look, really crazy, um, no one else I can get D's on that size. Um, then what I do with my loose lashes is I label them so I have like my D15s 9, 10, 11, 12 and 13 and then I put the little bags in there and keep them that way. reason why I like that better, I've done the same with my C's and cylinders and they're all 15's by the way, is that this annoys me. I started when I started lash, I'm making so much noise, when I started lashes I started with Nouveau and Nouveau sends you them out in these huge big you know, sizes, oh that was green, Ooh. and um, you have like heaps of them in your your lash kit, so it gets really annoying. These Nouveau ones, um, they call their stuff volume up and they an extra volume up. Volume up is 15, extra volume up is uh, 0.20s. They do a lot of J's, um, I just don't use J's anymore, not really, not on very many people. It's going to be B's or C's and then D's. People love D's. I think the next thing I could show you probably is just in some more loose lashes. I've got some D's in 20 purple and some D's in um, 20, sorry, C's in 20s, 11's, which are peach. So peach and purple, 9's and 11's, just for fun. I think that's everything. Ta -da! Okay. If you have any questions, comment below. If you want to share your tips and tricks and things that you do for lashes, I'd love to hear them. I'm always open to learning um, and I'm sure that there's some techs out there that maybe watch us that have been doing it for a lot longer than me. So um, yeah, if you're going to um, buy lash products, lash base, um, great products on their site, love it. Okay, bye. I was going to say thickness, but length as well. Thickness, yeah. thickness, yes, um, really depends.